Hey guys, I'm finally going to take the time to spray paint something. I'm looking for the spray paint right now. Um, let's go back to a few days ago. It might have been like a week ago that I found this. So let's go back to then and then we will jump right back to what we are doing. I'm super excited because I went to Goodwill and I got a really good find. I can't wait to show you guys. So I'll be back uh, probably not till this afternoon because it's really hot. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. I am outside. There's kids outside. So sorry for the noise. But oh. it's kind of hard to see with the sand, with the rocks, but it's a plant stand. Pound at Goodwill for less than 10 bucks. So what we're gonna do, I have these two. Uh, we got paint and primer, and then we have like the, I guess, top coat. This one happens to be textured in this like dark green color. It actually matches my patio set, which is what I'm really excited about. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and just spray paint it, and then we'll go from there. I'm kind of excited to see now hopefully it comes out how I think it's going to come out. So, let's get started. I'm done. I finished with that primer. And I'm just going to do this texture one. Uh, Rust-Oleum textured in this like really dark, rich green. Um, yeah, you can't really see much now. I know it's kind of far, but I think it's looking really good so far. Well, this textured spray is not coming out. Um, I don't know if maybe this is clogged. It's like bubbling a little bit. Well, it was. Um, I don't know if this is clogged. I tried to kind of clean it out. I guess we're doing no texture. I think it looks really good as it is anyways. But, let me show you. Looks a lot better, right? Kind of looks black instead of dark green, but I think it still looks really good. You can, um, watch. Like right here, I ran into spray paint, so it's like but it's not anything too noticeable. I didn't do any of the bottoms, so, you know. I like it though. It's good, I think. All right, so now I'm just gonna let it sit and completely dry before I actually take it in the back and start putting things on it. Um, if you saw my last video, you'll see I did like a DIY, just kind of like wood over two cans to make like a little shelf. So I'll be moving all of that stuff onto this. So it is days later. Not day later, days later. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Sorry, my neighbor's dog is barking. It is very early in the morning. There's Charlie. Lovely, thank you, Charlie. But here's the stand. I don't have much on it yet. I want to get something for this pot. I'm going to have some other pots. Kind of decorative pots that I want to get something planted in. I'm going to fill this in a little bit more. I ended up trimming these to try to propagate them because they just weren't looking happy. Um, well, this one was actually left but these. And then this one I completely, uh, you know, trimmed back. I probably should have taken it inside because it's been raining. But anyways, because I didn't want to water them until, you know, they had kind of settled. But it's too late for that now. Look at this color. Isn't that so pretty? And then check this out. You guys probably saw my short about peppers still have lots of flowers on here and then up over here another little pepper over here dang it 
another pepper there. And then just a lot. We got a lot of peppers. Oh, I just broke that off. <laughs> but we got a lot of peppers forming on here. So that's cool. Everything's looking so happy with the rain water. It rained yesterday and today. My shampoo plant was looking a little sad and I asked my boss and he said I was probably getting too much sun and since I moved it, we've got some new growth. So, I brought this house plant out here, which I knew would probably die. It's a stingray, but it was just a baby from the mama plant. So, I brought it out here to hopefully try to get it to get used to it out here, but I guess it's not looking very happy there's a little mushroom in there but i just want to show you guys one more quick thing look at that isn't that pretty that's actually a pretty big leaf but that is not what i wanted to show you over here check this out Kind of sunburn already, but they're looking so happy. I love that plant because the rose kind of changes colors as it grows. So it starts off very light. <laughs> I was gonna close the door, but it's gonna be dark in here. Starts off super light, and then um. Kind of changes to that pinkish it kind of goes through like a phase of colors um i think i've shared pictures with you guys before anyways okay that's that's enough i came out here to show you the stand um and i did that so thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time bye